And we're on, we're on your side with health news. April is Autism Awareness Month. Autism is on the rise. Our medical expert, Dr. Gayathri Dave, joins us now with what the latest research says. Dr. Dave, why are we seeing these autism rates increasing now? Well, the rate of autism may be increased because of broader screening, uh, improved and differences in diagnosis, as well as genetic and environmental factors. Uh, as we know, autism is a neuro neurodevelopmental disorder associated with uh, impaired social and communication skills and repetitive types of behavior. Uh, and parents have a lot of questions about this increased yeah. rate. Um, so the, the, question, uh, the second question is, uh, what is the screening uh, involved with autism? Uh, the American Academy of Pediatrics uh, recommends that toddlers undergo screening at age 18 and 24 months. And if you suspect autism in your child because of problems with social uh, skills, uh, verbal and nonverbal communication or repetitive types of behavior, you want to seek medical attention because earlier intervention improves outcome. And the third is how are doctors redefining the diagnosis of autism? The American Association of Psychiatry is revising the definition of autism in order to streamline the, the differences in diagnosis, improve the diagnosis, mm -hmm. and reduce the overdiagnosis. But parents are concerned that the new definition will be restrictive and result in a loss of medical services for certain children already diagnosed with autism. Uh, for example, Asperger's syndrome, which is seen in highly right. functioning autistic will be eliminated, but the symptoms will be included under a single definition. Also, um, the criteria for diagnosing autism will change, so for example, language delay will be considered independent of autism. And then finally, uh, what are the genetics and environmental factors of autism? Uh, three new studies this week showed that um, new mutations which arise spontaneously rather than being passed on um, in the sex cells, sperm and eggs, are associated with autism, and that Older fathers are more likely to carry this oh. mutation rather than mothers. Uh, men uh, age 35 and older are uh, thought to be at risk. And also today, uh, there was a study that showed uh, environmental factors in utero, um, uh, maternal factors, uh, diabetes right. and uh, obesity uh, may be associated with autism. They said there's not a cause and effect, but women who had diabetes or were overweight while they were pregnant tended to have more children with autism, right? Correct. And we'll have to see long-term follow-up to mm -hmm. see what this means. So is this reclassification of autism or not? Do you think that's going to affect now the numbers of autistic children that we have? Researchers saying that it, that, that it may well uh, affect the numbers, um, but it also may improve to uh, lead to better and more consistent diagnosis right. and a redu reduction in overdiagnosis. All right, thank you, Dr. Dobby. We'll be mm -hmm. right back.